It was a dark and stormy night. Sheesh. On a distant corner of Pandora, where few men dare to tread. With the journey to find the elusive vault behind them, a fearless adventurer set off into the trees of... What's a tree? Oh, for the angel's sake! It's a plant that grows out of the ground really tall. Like this? No more interruptions. <clears throat> so, they set out into the trees of Jacob's Cove, a land very much ravaged and forgotten. Time. It was here that the scientist Dr. Nate, who is totally not Dr. Z from the last story at all, tried to help all of mankind, but ultimately caused very bad shit. That's a swear! Dude made zombies, okay? You're not the police of me. Pay attention. Okay. So some bad crap was happening. And it got really spooky. And this is where our story begins. Is any of this going to be true? Yes. Probably a lot of it. You're adopted. <clears throat> and welcome back, my fellow gamers, to another Jemersion... <clears throat> excuse me. Another Jemersion video series here. And as you can see, we are in the zombie island of... Dr. Ned, who's totally not Dr. Zed. So, um, I finished the uh, Borderlands Game of the Year playthrough. Hopefully you've watched my video series or have seen it on there on my uh, YouTube channel there. Uh, but I used Brick. Played through with Brick. And he come out the, end, the other end of it uh, like level 35, 36 or so, somewhere around there. And I was going to use him to continue to go through the uh, DLCs here, which the Zombie Island of Dr. Ned here is the first one of four. <clears throat> but uh, I screwed it up. I, uh, when you go through and select the playthrough, it automatically uh, defaults to playthrough two. And I had forgotten that. I didn't catch it to reset it to playthrough one. So when I got Brick in here at this uh, instance of the game, all the creatures were like level 45. Way harder. Because it was uh, it was registering as playthrough two instead of the first playthrough, which is what it should have been. So that was on me. I screwed it up. So instead, what we have here is we're going to play through with uh, I jumped back into another iteration here of Mordecai <clears throat> he's level 11 now I think 10 11 yeah somewhere around there and uh, so we're going to play through the uh, DLCs here with Mordecai <clears throat> excuse me which is going to be interesting because the normally the the other times that I've played through the DLC have all been max level characters, which has made everything more uh, a little bit more difficult. And I've got a level level appropriate weapons. <clears throat> this one's going to be a lower level playthrough, so I'm interested to see how it's going to change and what new weapons I'm going to get versus the weapons I would have gotten just playing through at this level, this low level uh, in the uh, base game of the year edition. So, <clears throat> that's that. Now, let's go... Uh, let's see. I've got... Uh, what should I show you here? Yeah, that's all. We are at... Uh, la, 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 la. Oh, I don't have any quests for this yet. That's right. So, let me show you... Um, level 13. That's where uh, Mordecai is at here. Okay, now Mordecai's the sniper. He's got his uh, pet Bloodwing. That's his, um, uh, his, uh, superpower. And, uh, so I've got, uh, VR Burning Sniper, which is his specialty weapon. I've got a Burning SMG, which is a times three. <clears throat> and then I've got a, uh, ZX-1 Alpha Hunter Shotgun for crowd control. 
I've got a uh, very slow health regen shield, uh, some explosive sticky grenades, and uh, a couple that I was holding on to, fire resistance, and I'm probably going to sell that one. Uh, let's see, uh, there's that, so my skills. I'm going to be uh, diving into a sniper with the base of rogue here so I can get Bloodwing. Um, <clears throat> toughened up a bit but I'm going to be going down into the sniper on this one the first time I played him I went through deep on the blood on the uh, gunslinger and it was pretty cool but I'm gonna go Mordecai's sniper this time yet those aren't good and here you can see we are in Jacob's Cove there's the map all right now let's go meet with As usual, there's that uh, <clears throat> iconic, sardonic sense of humor here in all the uh, in through this. Now you can see uh, things aren't looking good. There's been some kind of a huge zombie outbreak. I wish we could go out to those little huts. So that's interesting. All right, well let's go meet with the claptrap unit here and get this uh, DLC underway. The welcoming committee. Uh, Claptrap, recalibrate the defense jurors. Claptrap has informed you of the nearby zombie infestation. Uh, the town is normally kept safe by three defensive turrets, but they don't yet recognize zombies as a threat. Your only hope to restore any semblance of security to the area is to recalibrate the town's defenses. So we're starting off this story mission at a level 15 difficulty tough, but I think I should be good to go. Greetings, misinformed zombie fodder. I am not affiliated with the Jacobs Corporation, but they've hacked me to tell people like you that they would appreciate some assistance with the overwhelming situation with the living impaired. I should warn you, though, that they'll suck your brain out of your cranial cavity like a crappuccino if you get too close. If you'd still like to help, I suggest you turn on the town's defenses. Otherwise, crappuccino. Toodles! He's going, or runs off into the rock cave there, and we are underway. All right, so this is, <clears throat> that down there, as you can see, is uh, Dr. Ned's Bleeding Heart Infirmary. And we will get to that here in just a little bit. But first, let's see if I, I think I'm, nope, I'm not full up on supplies. I thought I was. <clears throat> Putting up on supplies now. Okay, so I love the spooky ambiance here that uh, that this has. So we're making our way down to <coughs> excuse me, the village. And this is where we come up on some zombies here. First zombies. So let's see how well. We got my buttons there for a moment. <laughs> There we go. All right, now, uh, zombie brain, a rotten, maggot-ridden brain. You receive zombie brain. I'm gonna pick it up. All right, let's see how well my weapons do. Let's see, I should probably stick with the fire. So if I remember, fire and exploding are the uh, zombies' main weaknesses here, primary weaknesses. What? You didn't like that? Oh, 
Because I think a couple of them can spit. And that's not good. Yeah, right there. Alright, pick up zombie brains. Defilers, there's the ones that can spit. You gotta watch out. Sixteen, too, so definitely have to be careful here. Feel it. All right, pick up some health, some more zombie brains. Let's see if we can advance just a bit. Clear. All right, let's go. See what's over here. Nothing I can use. Almost to town. I think we might make it. more close quarters here. Jacob's Lumber Mill, which is, uh, we'll get to as we progress the story. End, which is a fun little area. Dang, 
nothing. Quarantine biohazard containment area. Jacobs. Alright, here we are. Jacobs Cove. Let's get down here and turn these turrets on real quick. I think I might have to make a run for it. Alright, there's my first turret right there. Here we go. Go, 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 go. go. way. Let's see, there's a defiler over there, it looks like. Yeah. Let's see if there's some health in here. Yeah, there we go. Alright, switching. Picking up weapons and brains. Line of fire. Okay, that's cool. The uh, clap trap. Please uh, don't chew my head! Please don't chew my head! Still come out here in the. Uh, in this version. Alright, let's see. Where's. Uh, there it is. Alright, make, make it a okay. run for it. Let's see where's it. Pardon me there. Had a big sneeze, had to let loose. And 
and go turn this one in here to our uh, trusty little clap trap. Get some resupply. Nope. All right, here we go. Welcoming committee. Clap trap. The turrets seem to be holding off the zombies. The town should be safe. Is the doctor in? Find Dr. Ned. Claptrap has told you that there is a doctor who could use your help to stop the zombies. Find Dr. Ned's office down at the docks and figure out what's going on. Alright, so we'll add this one onto this video. The town should be safe for now, but if you're really going to solve the zombie infestation, you're gonna need to talk to Dr. Ned. He's been trying to fix the problem, and I'm sure he could use a hand. You'll find him at his office down on the docks. I'll open the waterfront gate so you can be on your way. Let's go! This adds more of the, uh, adds more to the story. So you, uh, can see what's going on a bit more. It's really too bad that another poor adventurer is going to be zombie food. And, oh, oh, you know the drill. So long, fearless traveler. Enjoy your stay at Jacob's Cove. Good all right, let's go see what Dr. Uh, Dr. Ned has to say. Totally not Dr. Zed, as you'll find out here in just a moment. Dodge the dead bodies. Forgot about the corpse eaters. Ah. Oh, damn it. Forgot they attacked. That's right. And let me pick up some loot here. Nope. Oh, wait, there's some loot over here. Yeah, there we go. That one almost killed me. That was close. Very close. All right, now let's go talk to Dr. Ned. Skies are clear. Back in never minutes. Is the doctor in? Find Dr. Ned. <coughs> Dr. Ned is nowhere to be seen, but there is a note on the door. House of the Ned. <coughs> Find and contact Dr. Ned in the bayou. There's a note on the door to Dr. Ned's office. The fine print reads, Screw this. I'm not hanging around here to get killed. I can protect myself better at home. If any fool finds this, I'm at my place in the bayou. Good luck reaching me, though. Just stay away. It's safer if you don't try to get to me. Fearless Zombie Killer! New missions are available at the Jacob's Cove Bounty Board. Okay, so I'm going to uh, cl close this video out here. And we'll be back for the next one, I hope. I <clears throat> uh, hope you'll join me. Come back and let's get more deeper into this zombie infestation and uh, what's going on around here at Jacob's Cove with me in the uh, zombie island of Dr. Ned. DLC for Borderlands Game of the Year Edition.